you know, when the when the article came out in the major newspapers, including the Huffington Post, there was no mention of lithium. Not one. Not one mention of lithium. Until I heard the recording of the actual... I, I listened to it. I listened to the rockets go off. I had no idea there was going to be a lithium dispersed. Until I heard payload lithium dispersed. Good indicators of chemical deploys. And lithium monitoring for divine had been deployed. Okay. RSO TDOSS requested to clear the area clear and release the roadblocks. TD concurs if RSO does. RSO concurs. All right, copies. Yeah, the science team reports out that they do see the lithium trails. These lithium trails allow them to look at the winds and that uh, of the ionosphere. And uh, these winds are believed to be the carriers PM, of the yeah. dynamic. PM. Uh, well, make sure everyone knows that we see the lithium from the airplane. Roger that. What you just heard was an excerpt of a telephone call that Madison Star Moon made to NASA asking NASA about the chemtrails and lithium being sprayed. They admit that they are spraying lithium, and lithium appears at night, red, pink colors in our sky. What I want to ask all of you is, the video that you will see of mine in a few minutes, do you see this color in your skies? Because I see it often here, and I absolutely do believe that they are spraying lithium quite often into our atmosphere and this is a very, very dangerous soft metal that they are spraying. But here on NASA, on their own site, microdust weaponry, a mechanical analog to bio micron size mechanized dust, which is distributed as an aerosol and inhaled into the lungs. Dust mechanically bores into lung tissue and executes various pathological missions, a wholly new class of weaponry, which is legal, on NASA's site. You know, a lot of people will say, oh, well, it's legal, so they, can, they have the right to do this. You are breathing in this dust. Legal does not mean it's right, does not mean it is moral. Our entire environment has become weaponized against us. But I guess an awful lot of people just believe, well, if Congress has legislated this to be legal, okay, well, what? You go along with it? When they're using this against you as a weapon? They're killing you? And it's fine because it's legal? Wow. All right. I posted a video Lithium in tap water, lithium chemtrail spraying, highly flammable, and causes many symptoms. I included in that video this article, Lithium and the Experiment Over Oregon, which was posted in 2015. And if you want to know about the experiment over Oregon, click on the link below and watch that video. What I want to get to is the symptoms of lithium. It does not take much. Actually, a small amount can affect people, fetuses, everybody having their own constitution. There are people who are allergic to lithium. A very small dose can have severe adverse effects on them. But lithium is a metal. It's the softest of all metals relatively inexpensive to mine. Lithium refined is highly reactive and flammable. Lithium will ignite and burn in oxygen when exposed to water or water vapors. It is highly conductive of both heat and electricity. And this is why it is now being widely used in geoengineering to increase electric conductivity as a desiccant a drying agent and to increase volatility in forest fires so 
when you hear mainstream media and firefighters, those reporters, the firefighters, talking about how these fires are just, they suddenly are out of control. They can't seem to fight them anymore. You hear Jerry Brown saying this is the new normal because of climate change. This is the new normal because they are making everything highly flammable with the spraying of these heavy metals, lithium, spraying it into the atmosphere. It falls down upon everything on trees and boom. Symptoms of lithium exposure, very small doses, it causes birth defects. Lithium passes through breast milk and can harm the baby. For some individuals, even the smallest dose of lithium as a drug can be highly debilitating and some people react allergically. And there is no antidote for lithium overdose. Lethargy. You feel heavy and drugged. Thirst. You become quickly dehydrated, especially if overheated. You crave salt. Stomach distress. Diarrhea. Constipation. Sudden weight gain. Muscle joint pain. Twitching of hands and head. Sometimes the whole body. Loss of appetite. You can't taste your food. Slurred speech. Blurred vision confusion, hallucinations, imitation goiter, looks like thyroid malfunction, impotence, endocrine disruption causing severe menstruation periods, stomach can swell up as if you're pregnant, kidney pain, acne, severe skin rashes, sunburn, hair loss. So tell me, are you seeing this in your sky? Are you experiencing any of the symptoms that I just read? Because I sure am. So look at all of that nice pink stuff and those bizarre, what are they, clouds? Really? Oh, wow. So this I see often here, that pink stuff floating around up there in our atmosphere falling down that we are breathing in. And you can see all of the microwave frequencies right there. The microwave frequencies also dry out the atmosphere, dry up life. Wasn't sure what that was, so I zoomed in. It kind of looked like an odd, scary monster in the sky. But look at all of it. I'm, I'm quite sure that that is lithium. You need to detox. You need to detox an awful lot. It's imperative to get these metals, chemicals out of our system. I don't see how we can possibly survive without detoxing every day. Every day at this point. So, yeah, please leave comments below. Are you seeing this? Are they spraying an awful lot of lithium into the atmosphere that we are breathing and getting sick from? There really are no words to describe what this world has become.